Hi, in this video, I'm going to explain you how to set up a new address format. Now, the concept of address format is that you may want to capture certain additional fields as a part of your address definition. For example, uh, if you don't find anywhere else, you may want to build some custom logic or in the country where the Fusion SAS implementation happens, there the address is in a specific format which is not there as a part of the standard address format that is defined in SAS instance. So you can always add a field or you can uh, make a specific field as a required field or you can say that uh, you know an existing field is there or a new field you can give a, uh, any custom label as you like. So that's where the address format comes into picture and then once you define address format then you've got to align it with a country. So uh, in this case you know I'm gonna uh, take the existing address format and I will align it to the New Zealand one. So all I will do it is maybe add a new field for demonstration purposes and show you how that can be done. Having said that let's go into Fusion SAS Applications Cloud and I'm going to demonstrate to you this functionality there. Alright, so we are in Fusion SAS instance and before I proceed further, I'm going, to, I'm going to show you the release and version of this instance. So to see that, you simply go here and about this application and this one as we are on release 13 and version 23D as you can see it over here. Okay, and you can clearly see release 13 over here. Can you see that? So that's where we are on. So I'm going to close this and in order to manage a new address format, all you have to do is in the search task, you have to search by manage address formats and hit the search icon. And then here you've got to choose manage address format for customers like this. And once you go here, you click on this manage address format hyperlink. And it's going to open the country specific address format page okay and once you come over here you can see the existing formats by uh, searching by the country name so all the formats are defined if you uh, do a blind search all the formats are defined with the prefix of the country name okay and if you want to define a new format so you can click on this plus icon to create a new one you can give your own code name um, address style you can choose a specific style and uh, description and then here you can add the fields as you like okay and but for our demonstration what I'm going to do is I'm going to take an existing one because most of the time you don't need to define a new one you've got to take uh, you can take an existing one so I'm going to take uh, the one for New Zealand okay so I'm gonna click on this hyperlink and then in order to edit this format as you could see you got address line 1 which is required but line 2 is not required line 3 is not required city postal code and country is required so for example if you want to make a change to this one you can click on edit and uh, you can add a new field if you like for example uh, you may want to add a new field and uh, you know you can you can say in terms of the numbering you can give it a new number let's say in, uh, 6 line number 6 and position as you can say as 1 and then you can give a prompt to this one let's say uh, just like uh, US uh, uh, you know it's a uh, state county city so something like that you know it, it doesn't have that in New Zealand New Zealand just have the uh, country state and city so for example if you want to if you want to capture some county or district you may want to write that district okay and uh, then address element see whether you have that something like county okay unless you have the district so you say county and leave it as optional and leave it as uh, you know mix case and once you're done you hit the save button and then hit save and close 
and you know that's how it is and then hit the done button so next time when you go and uh, define a location for a uh, country New Zealand you will see this extra field popping up so let's try that I'll say manage locations and I'm gonna click on search I'll go to this hyperlink manage locations task and then I should have that field so let's say I'm gonna click on create and after I create in this form in this new form I'm gonna choose a country for New Zealand and let's see what happens then so uh, so you see if I choose a country New Zealand can you see the district coming in over here right earlier it wasn't there so this is how you make the change to an address format likewise you know you can define a new address format so let's go back to the address format form once again so I'm not gonna save this so hit the yes button to exit and uh, I'm gonna say manage address formats oh. and go back here first of all what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna roll back the change so it will disappear so I'm gonna open New Zealand and you see other thing what I didn't show you was a locate a locale ass assignment so in this one presently you know by default it is assigned as New Zealand however uh, when you create a new address format at that time you'll have this field enabled and plus I can enable so you can I believe you can assign it to one country in terms of uh, locale assignment okay so let's edit this address format and I'm gonna remove that field district from here I'm gonna say delete and then I'm gonna hit the save okay so here you see uh, ideally you should assign to one location only but for example if for a cluster of countries you have the same address format then you may want to assign it to multiple countries as well okay so it depends on entirely on your requirement so once you're done then hit the save button and hit the save and close I'm gonna go back to manage uh, locations uh, task and let's see whether district is appearing now or not ideally it should have gone now but we can uh, counter check to make sure so I'm gonna say create a new location I'm gonna go to the address and I'm gonna choose the country as New Zealand okay and as you could see there is no change the district field is no more appearing the reason is because we have deleted it from the address format so basically this is the procedure in which you can define an address format and within that address format you can you can customize it for example add a new field change the label make it required or make it optional and assign it to one or more countries in Oracle Fusion SAS applications